You're looking good, Gordon. Have you lost weight? Mm. What's that you're wearing, Holly? A thermal in shorts. No, I meant your, your, your fragrance. It, uh, it smells lovely. Oh, well, it's something Marcella got for me. It's called toilet water. But the cool thing is, is when I'm done, I can just refill it for my own toilet. I'm wearing Madeline Escott. I thought I heard you said you liked it the other day. No, it's not that. H how's Marcella? She's been so busy prepping for tonight's test shoot, I'd never see her if she didn't spend nights with me. She's sleeping with you? My place is closer to work than hers. Are you guys, oh hey, children, <laughs> I, I wanna talk to you. Holly, you okay? Yep, just changing the light bulb. Where's your ladder? Jan borrowed it. So how are you gonna get down? I'm just hanging on to this light bulb till he gets back. Go, Burbank Confidential, I want it. Why? You have a good night, Burbank. It's the biggest local news show in Burbank. It's the only local news show in Burbank. Look, I'm the perfect man for the Burbank Confidential job. I I've, I've got a, an extensive background in entertainment. The people of Burbank, they know me and they love me, and my curating is probably off the charts. <gasps> so is mine! Oh, my cue. You still tweeting? No, no. Look, you said I'd gone over the line with that, and, and I, I probably did a little bit. But if nothing else, it shows you that, that I can riff, I'm funny, I, 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 I can think of things to say in the moment. I'm perfect for the Burbank Confidential job. Well, brass have their eyes on Elizabeth. She's been doing entertainment for a couple weeks. She knows the celebrities. She sounds fantastic, but you're brass. You own the place. Focus group wanted you lose some weight. Why don't you try doing that first? No, I, I'm in the middle of a detox, okay? So in the meantime, I was thinking maybe I could just slip you some tape. That is a nice warm plate of roni soundies. Oh, they sound not, no. Yeah. What are those? They're from Priscilla. She just wanted to say she was sorry. Priscilla is the devil. And the devil never says, I'm sorry. Okay, first of all, the devil is not a Christian. That's been scientifically proven. So you're not gonna get to me that way. Secondly, she's sorry, I'm sorry, we're both sorry, everybody's sorry. And as part of her penance, she's been making these hail brownies. And I have to say, I've had one or two, maybe three, and they are divine. Ooh, brownie for the ex-porn director. Ex? <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, ex. <laughs> X, X, X. <laughs> I'm triple X. These look so good. Hey, Jan, are you done with the ladder? Oh, my bad. I, I get. Yeah, take one, one or two, or you know, a, okay. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. I wonder what the magical ingredient is. Pot. Something. Hmm? She's made a bunch of pot brownies. Honestly, Gordon, the world that you live in, I really feel sorry for you. Hey. Hmm. Is that Madeline Escott? Yeah. Oh, you can have mine. I just stopped wearing it. So what are they shooting in there? The test pilot for Burbank Confidential. Hmm. But they haven't quite decided who the co-host is going to be yet. Co-hosting with Marcella? Yes. Hmm. From PETA? Yes. The Jewish one? Oh, this isn't going to end well. No, I think it's terrific that a Jewish person has found a foothold in Hollywood. I mean, how often does that happen? Actually, there's a lot of Jews there. I know, I'm being sarcastic. Really? Okay, dokie, good to go. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, 30 okay. seconds to air people. Nadira, could you take these around to the rest of the crew? Just little Priscilla's way of saying sorry. May I have one? Oh, of course, please do. Oh my gosh, you must have been so sorry. These are maze balls. Because they're made with pop. No, they're not. No, they are not. And it's rumors like that that get people believing things like that Rush Limbaugh was addicted to OxyContin. Because he was addicted. Not now, Gordon, I'm busy. How is Priscilla? She's lovely. Just a doll. Mm -hmm. Jesus loves you. Yeah, all of them more. Jesus loves you molestist. Colonel Mustard. The library. Murder. Good night, Burbank. All the day's headlines from your award-winning Good Night Burbank team. Good evening, Burbank. Have you drank some water today? Some healthy, life-giving water? It could kill you. But first a word about face cream.
Good evening, I'm Whitney Appleby and this is Gordon Winston Smith. President Obama talked to Congress today about Wall Street excess. Whitney, Chaz, fat cats with big bats and thin rats flat to the max. Is that something on the camera? I don't see anything. So you're really not gonna have one, huh? Nope. Is this a health thing or a, a vanity thing? Well, if I eat those, I put weight on and I stay here and I commit suicide. So it's a health thing. <laughs> oh, oh gr Mr. Graham, here's <laughs> our, our crack news team, Gordon Winston Smythe and Whitney Appleby. Pleasure to meet you. I'm a big fan. And, and you are? Oh, Ken here is the Burbank Fire Marshal. Oh, you want an autograph for the guys back at the station? You know what, I get this all the time. Uh, I sure. I am the news. Gordon Winston. Just your name's fine. I don't need the whole thing. And I hope this is on too informal. Wow. Thank you so much. For My that. pleasure. Mr. Graham is here because of the fire that was in Whitney's dressing room. Oh, as well. He wants to check out the studio, the house, make sure all our codes are up to scratch, which, of course, they are. No. <laughs> I would have been here earlier, but we had a cat up a tree. Whew. Oh, Burbank, it's just go, go, go. It can be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to get in anybody's way, so. But if I do find a violation, I will shut this show down. We're, we're live. So, well, what about the Burbank Confidential test? <laughs> we have nothing to worry about. We have nothing to worry about. Our codes are all fine. Our codes are all fine. Just in case, uh, Jan, uh, do we have a contingency plan? Like a show one of my movies? Yeah, let's not do that. But in the meantime, Come up with a plan, and, and don't worry about anything. We're not going to get shut down, right? <laughs> We're not going to get shut down. Wow, we'll wow, wow. What are they feeding you down at the station? Uh, uh, iron and steel? Uh, oh, wow. No, no. Uh, you should come down sometime. Well, I like that very much. Yeah, take a ride on the pole. Getting a bit weird now. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, have a brownie. Uh, oh, no, not while I'm working. All right, well, show me where to start. Oh, OK, well, right this way. OK. Uh, see you guys later. Have a good mm -hmm. show. When do you know it? Part of my club melted on a light bulb, which makes it a potential higher hazard. Not good. This has a taste to it that I haven't tasted since, I'm going to say high school. What, pot? No, no, it's not pot. It's not pot. Oh, crap. What? Has anyone ever told you that you look like Jesus? The gardener? No, Jesus, with the long flowing hair. Riding on the back of a pony corn. What's a pony corn? Half pony, half unicorn. Whitney, what was it you tasted on the brownie? Acid. Oh the brownies God. have acid in them. Oh God. Text the word cinnamon to my fiance Gavin. He will know what it means. I can taste it. It's purple. Jan, Jan, are you getting this? Yeah. Uh, package back in five. Just do it yourself. Didn't you eat the brownies too? Yeah, but the uh, acid we take in Estonia <laughs> so much more powerful than this Yankee crap. Thank God for that. Whitney, we're going back on air, okay? Do you think you can keep it under control for just a few seconds? I'm very hot in these clothes. Very hot in these clothes. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Working class isn't just for those people anymore. Back to you, Gordon. Two jet fighters today escorted, stop that, a, a plane into the Bob Hope Airport after a reported bomb threat. We go over live now to Barry Livingstone for the full story. It was Fright 715 for the passengers of Flight 715. Get off me. I'm not touching you. You, you actually are touching I'm not me. touching Get you. off me! Oh good, here's the ladder. Uh, you can head up there if you'd like. Uh, Holly's already up there, she can show you around the rigging. In a minute. She is up there, right? I see ants dancing on hot coals and molten ice flows. Yeah, sounds like it. What's she doing? Oh, ah. Holly. It, it's probably very hot up there. Okay. That could have taken an eye out. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> see? Now I can be Wonder Woman. See? No, no, see? no. I'm Wonder Woman and I'm in my invisible jet plane. Woo! <laughs> Okay, that was fun, but the engine just didn't kick in in time. No, how hard is it? Sir, you're a man. Well. I would like for you to make me scream. It's the fire marshal with me. <laughs> I know. You're gonna get a he shut down? He shall put out my fire. Can you tell me what the hell's going on here? Oh, the brownies? Yeah. Thanks for that. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey. 
Why don't you tell me about that fire pole? That would sound really like you could yeah, I don't right. know what's going on here, but whatever it is, it's a fire hazard. <laughs> My great big wings of love. Crazy story, huh? Over now to Elizabeth Chivers with a special celebrity guest in our interview section. Elizabeth? Thank you, Gordon. With me today is Juliet Landau. Juliet Landau has starred in Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. Both shows were created by the limitless talent that is Joss Whedon, not Josh Whedon. And now she's starring in a turn of the century film entitled Jessica's Pin of Four, a tale about a chambermaid who realizes she's fallen in love with the butler's daughter. Juliet Landau, thank you for joining us. Would you care for a brownie? I already had a couple of these bad boys in the green room slash den. Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh. Don't thank me, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I was just trying to be polite. So let's talk about your latest film, Pink People Playing with Green Vuvuzelas. I'm sorry? Vuvuzelas. Whoa! Elizabeth, do you have two heads? No, but ants are crawling on my skin. Uh, I've never seen so many stars. <laughs> um, we should get back to Jessica's pinafore. Oh, uh, of course. What inspired you to take the part? The script, it was huge, with arms that reached out, and I fell into the center, screaming fire. <laughs> Rocky and Bullwinkle, I'm an empty orchestra. Oh. I can see black holes in time, and inside every one of them is an image of Brad Pitt barking at the top of his lungs. <laughs> Angelina. Yep, Jen. Angelina. Yep. Jen. Electric blue carnations. I is that cheese? No, silly. It's fiberglass ribbon. So what's next for you? I'm uh, currently shooting a film about Salford. It's a, a town in the north of England. Did you know that dessert spelled backwards is stressed or the other way around? <laughs> oh, desserts. I, I, I think I'm... I think I'm gonna vomit yellow glitter. Let's <coughs> not forget that February is Black History Month. Oh, oh God! Wait, Nate! <laughs> I will kill you! <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. With a full story on something, open out of Genevieve Nagua. Genevieve! <laughs> The Bosnian embassy here in Burbank saw a major demonstration today among ex-citizens protesting the new draconian laws there. Package to begin the Burbank And as you can see, we have all the proper shielding on our lighting cables. Connections look solid. Good. Good. Ken. Genevieve. Ken, this is our, uh, this is Genevieve. What is he doing okay, here? No, look, I'm, I am just here doing my job, Genevieve. I am just doing a fire check. I have a restraining order against this man. He is not to be within 500 feet of me. Hey, honey, I'm just as surprised as you are. I mean, you're usually off on assignment, so. Yeah, assignment here means the backyard because you can't afford a van. Okay, look, you know, I, I don't want to cause any problems here. So I'm just going to get out of here right away. <gasps> okay, all right. God. Before I do, I just need closure. More closure. I didn't. I'm really sorry about what happened. I really am. Ken, I'm. I can't believe this. Can somebody please help me? No, Jennifer, please, please, please. Okay, hear me out, okay? I, when you broke it off with me, I, <laughs> wow, I went into my head. I didn't mean to break all your windows. Look, I have never, ever in my life stalked someone before you. Yeah? Mm -mm. What about the headless flowers? Okay, no, now, they, that wasn't, that wasn't my idea, okay? I got that off a website. In, in hindsight, bad, bad idea. Look, I just, just give me one more shot, please. Ken, if you don't get out of here right now, I'm gonna call the cops. No, please, just one more shot, Genevieve. Okay, I love you. I love only you. Okay, just, just a touch, just one touch. Okay, look, look, just a caress. I'm wearing your pants. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, the ones you left behind. Okay. I okay we're about to go on air. Me we're about to go on air, Ken. That's, That's how much I care for right, you. Right, Better get him out of here. No, Sorry, look, bro. look, look. Okay, you know what, buddy? Like, you can move a trained fireman against his will. I am a rock. I'm going dead. I'm going dead. Dead fish. Dead fish. I will shut this place down. I will shut it down. He does. He's going out of your paycheck. <laughs> I on. love you. I love you. To end. Gordon, over to you in the studio. Thanks, Genevieve. We'll be right back in a minute. We're back. Welcome back, Burbank. 
More fallout is being felt by the immigration law in Arizona. Paul Lynch has the full story. Paul? Thanks, Gordon. Burbank is taking on a lot of Arizona's illegal outcasts. But as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm hearing voices. Are you? No. Mm. They, they're the voices. You know, the ones that I heard when I was a teenager. Well, the ones that told you to kill your parents? Yeah. Oh, you, you, we don't want to listen to them. What are they saying? Hi, Whitney. It's been so long. It's been too long. They're funny. Oh, we moving to comedy now? Hey, so I just talked to the universe, and it said that religion was just a way for man to control others. The voices say you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gordon. Mm -hmm. There's something that I've been meaning to tell you. Oh, now is not a good time. Now is the perfect time. I don't think you've ever seen me like this, Gordon. No, you really should probably put it No, but... <laughs> Oh, Nadira wants sleepy sleep. I bet. Nadira, you okay? Nadira? Nadira? Gosh, she can sleep through anything. Oh, God, I'm going to call her an ambulance. Whitney, you have visitor. Gavin. Yeah, Yon, call an ambulance quick for Nadira. What's wrong, apple pie? Huh, they say you're very handsome, but I did pretty good for myself. Thanks, voices. <laughs> Listen, we've had some serious problems tonight. She's, uh... You tell them. You tell them. They're so embarrassing. We've had a problem. She she ingested some. Uh, Drop something. It's okay. What's Joyce, going on? Oh my God! <gasps> Whitney, no! She, she she accidentally uh, ingested uh, some 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 acid. Who gave her acid? Um um, Priscilla. I knew it. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. This isn't just the acid. This is a full-blown psychotic blackout. I've seen this before. It's when you cross hallucinogens with, with proliferol when people are bipolar. Sounds like a great relationship. Package to win. Team five. Could, could you angle right a shot real quick? She's so strong. Just come on, dear. Go into the light. Go into the light! Thanks, right, buddy. Back to you in the studio, Gordon. Until tamale. I'm Paul Lynch. Uh, the, the West is skeptical over a new Iranian arms deal. Walt Mossberg has the full story. Walt? I ran. I ran so far away. I ran all night. <laughs> I see the father of my baby. The one who died of cancer? He's crying real tears of happiness because I'm having his child. It's really sweet, Holly. He knows I'm scared because it's my first baby, but he says it's gonna be all right. And then I'll find someone. You will. Gordon. Mm -hmm. Can you, will you? Will I what? Would you fix me up with one of your single friends? I, yes, I could. Unless. Oh, no, you think it was stupid. Oh, I won't. What? What? Gordon, are you... Hey, baby. Chilton said you needed my help. Hi, Marcella. Oh. Did you see the stars? I do now. Holly, there's something that I've been wanting to tell you. Well, can and it I wait? Because just... I was having a... You are so beautiful. I just can't. Great. So the girl I have a crush on, and the girl's just taken my potential job, and now making out. I don't know if I should cry, be around, or both. Shilton, this garage country, we seven major fire codes alone. What is this? Oh, crimson and clover, baby, over and over. Yeah, now you've ruined Joan Jet for me, too. Thanks. I'm talking about her. Oh, oh, it's okay. Holly fell on her, but, but I've called for an ambulance. It's all right. Really? Well, that's coming out of somebody's paycheck. 
Okay, no. I am shutting it down. We are shutting it down. Lights, shut the lights down. I'm on it. No, no, come on, Ken. That's ridiculous. It's the not... show is over. I guess that means the Burbank Confidential Test is too, but that's okay because you want me in it when you see my tape. What, you know, Gordon, you can go f Baba Shanti. He can melt. Nisha, Nisha, Nisha. Baba Shanti. He can melt. Prince Jasbo. <laughs> On the replay. Chagadinos and flyers. So all of Burbank just saw that? <laughs> Win Ingmar Bergen Award, ADN, 1982. Congratulations.